Hey, Kel, um, what in your mind was allowed you guys to kind of tighten the screws defensively when you needed to? Um, I think everybody's just locking in. Now uh, we start switching and and just you know helping each other out. We just um, you know everybody want to win, so we just everybody's guarding hard and trying to help the next next guy out. These last three games, you guys have not just started strong, but found a way to close strong. What did you guys learn from those first two games that were close to where it's kind of helping you guys now execute the way you guys want to? Um, kind of starting the game, starting the game pretty well. Um, they scored 30 in first, but obviously you got to limit that. But start the first quarters pretty well. And then um, I think just winning, just having games, winning at the end gives you confidence, you know, in the whole locker room that, you know, when games and stuff gets tight, that we go all lock in and get a win. So I think just winning games, tight games, is, is helps a lot. When you look at the ball movement from you guys, that kind of like help with the offensive flow. You had Spencer with nine assists, Ben with six, Royce with mm. eight. What did you see and make of the way you guys were able to kind of find each other and like fight through their defensive schemes? Yeah, uh, they're switching up a little bit on us defensively, but yeah, just keep trying to make the right play, trying to find each other. Um, yeah, but credit to the guys just making plays and. You know, I think Doe setting, setting the tone, making them threes early, just kind of got us going. And it was just, you know, kept finding each other. Spencer, the way he started the game, kind of set the tone with those assists. Mm -hmm. For somebody who was hurt the previous game, for him to just kind of come in right away and make that impact, what does that to say about his, his professionalism, just the way he can just come in and make those plays? Yeah, he's a pro's pro. That right? That's what they say. Mm -hmm. And um, he's always going to be ready. Uh, don't got to worry about him. So... Just him locking in, you know, making shots, you know, playing, making the right decision, which he does, uh, definitely helps a lot. And then Jock also said the pace in the fourth quarter, you guys are still able to push as much as you want to. Do you see how that's affecting the defense when you guys are just pushing the ball down court and guys are kind of struggling to keep up or struggling to get to find, you know, shut down, you guys can get shots? Yeah, and it all just helps on the defense of Ben, you know, getting stops and just getting out. You know, we can all run, you know, Ben gets in pushing it, so. Yeah, just getting stops on the end helps offensively, especially getting out in transition. Feel it all. Go three and one on this road trip. Um, how would you just assess where this team is? And do you look at this road trip kind of as a success as you guys have built and, you know, taking those next steps forward? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, thinking about it in the locker room after the game, kind of, I don't think we kind of realized how big of a road trip that was, you know, to go three and one. Went three straight and stay together, you know, especially on the road. You know, it's the NBA, like, we're not like no dynasty team that's been together for all these years. So you, can, you, you can't, you can't take any win for granted. I mean, so I think we should kind of understand what we've been doing, but, you know, don't get, you know, happy on the farm as my old coach, Coach Mani used to say. Um, just got to keep going though. But it's, it's definitely, it definitely helps and it gives us confidence. How, uh, how helpful is it to have that confidence being buoyed at this time? I mean, everybody knew your first nine games was already going to be tough. Yeah. But when you look at these games that are coming on the horizon, they're really, really tough. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm just going to keep playing our way, playing hard. Uh, it's, it's all you can do. And um, just keep leaning on each other. You know, our coaching staff doing a great job. And... You know, we just all lean on each other, you know, on that court. So we'll be ready. Feel any different at all this in season tournament thing or? Um, the court, court pretty much. <laughs> but kind of, I don't know, kind of, uh, but personally though, you just, we win, you kind of feel like, okay, even though we're three and two, I felt like one and oh, you know, I wouldn't think that there was no in season tournament. So it's just pretty cool. With Doe kind of setting the tone, I mean, just how much fun is it seeing him kind of embrace that stretch five role where obviously you guys are missing Nick and Cam, but Doe's been able to fill in not just, you know, with the shooting, but also being inside getting rebounds as well. That's, that's just Doe. I mean, ever since I've known him, playing against him when he's on Dallas, like he just, that glue guy that does everything. And um, to him to play the five and be in the drop does it better than a lot of fives I've seen. And you know, watch a lot of games. So he's just 
you just always want him on his, you always want him on your team, and um, you know, I was happy for him, and it just it makes it, it puts a lot of pressure on the team, on the team's defense, because he get to the rim too, you know, like got the bigs closing out, he just goes right past them, so he's making shots, doing that, and creating, yeah, it's, it's gonna be tough to guard us. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks, guys.